Oh, this part will be about translating strings uh, through a WPML string translation. So I'll just enter that. Basically, what you want to find here are a few elements. It's static elements, which is like widgets or something uh, coded into the theme, which is not uh, part of the content section. So it can be stuff which is in the header, which is this part up here. We have the middle part, which is the content, and that doesn't contain any uh, wit or any um, thing that needs string translation. And then we have the footer which also requires uh, that you handle something through the string translation. So the main parts that we, we use this string translation for is that if we want to change the phone number, we have to do it through string, string translation. If we want to change the Facebook uh, link, that's also string translation. And this part right here. So we have the, this widget. It's actually uh, changed um, in string translation as well. Um, so I'm just gonna try to walk through it here. We can choose uh, well, what I do because I already translated the string, so I just use the translation complete. It's gonna upload and it's gonna say, okay, everything you translated, it's here. So we can go to all domains. What we should look at here is mostly, um, I think it's like admin text DB um, and widgets so if we go to the first one what you can see here is a um, translation it's gonna open here you can actually see that for this is the the, the, the Facebook URL so for each country you can actually link to a different uh, number or no, no a different uh, Facebook page and you can choose to say, okay, now it's complete. That's what I do every time I uh, update something. And then I just save each and every one of them. Same thing with the phone, uh, different phone numbers. Translation is complete, save. When you complete the translations, they're much easier to find here because there's like uh, thousands and thousands of uh, string that can be translated. So whenever you do something yourself, make sure to use translation completed. If you, so that was covering this part. The next part is this part, and it's actually a widget. So we, we scroll down to the bottom here, and go to widgets. So if we wanted to say, for example, uh, news, it's this part right here. Um, we can have that in different languages. Uh, I guess we probably also have help then. Let's say payment methods, detailings, yeah. Not really sure what that is about, but uh, we did translate that, I see. Okay, um, and where do we have those bastards? I don't think it's this one, right? Well, this does resemble Jesus comments. Nope. Well, I just found it before, so it's kind of weird. Let's just try to see all strings and widgets. Okay, well, so this says it's not translated. Um, mm, 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 mm. So these are all English, and you can see they're actually not translated. Oh, okay. So, this is actually English. This is probably Swedish and this is probably Norwegian or Swedish I don't know and then this should be Danish yeah it is okay so that's kind of weird but um, 
play around with this thing. Yeah. And uh, good luck to you with the uh, with translating this. Apparently, uh, the widgets are now separated, so you should be able to to change text and. Uh, Cannot tell you for sure right now, <laughs> but good luck with it. <laughs>